Hey folks, it's Hainan Landa, David Campbell, and we're back here with another point counterpoint on these crazy technology predictions that I made for 2019, where I'm going to say my prediction, and David here is going to argue with me, because that's what we do. That's what we do. Fun. So the third prediction has to do with Office 365, and my point was that Office 365 is becoming a better and better product, and it's showing more and more adoption in the business marketplace. So two years ago, 34% of the companies had Office 365 in some capacity, email or the whole suite. And last year, it was up to 56%. So my prediction is Microsoft has shown itself as the dominant player in this field. It's going to continue to grow. More companies are going to buy Office 365 and use it. And it will just gradually steamroll other types of programs and applications. Well, I do agree with you that Microsoft Office, uh, Office 365 is going to continue to gain adoptees. I do agree there. What I don't agree with it is going to take over to the exclusion of all other things. What I think is actually going to happen is I think folks, the people that have uh, a say in the virtual desktop market, in the way that we are accessing our information, they're going to have a, a lot to say about how they use Microsoft's products in order to enhance their desktop experience. One thing to remember, Microsoft is still having issues with things like file storage and with uh, file access. So if you have Office 365, for instance, and you have all of your data, your data is going to be sitting in OneDrive, I think, for file sharing. Well, in order to do that, you have to have SharePoint set up. If you're going to have SharePoint set up properly, you're going to have to have someone to actually customize it for you and then to manage it for you. Now, I don't know if all of those things are going to be... Uh, going to give you the same experience as one cohesive virtual desktop experience. And I think that's where you're going to start to see the leveling off effect of Microsoft. It's awesome. Microsoft lowered the price. They're throwing a whole lot of features at it. But at the end of the day, people still have to be able to, to get to it, to have the presentation they're looking for. You still have to be able to keep it cohesive. And I think one thing that virtual desktop brings to the table is the cohesion of applications and the app and the, it, it and is, the way you get to it. It is hard for me to fight against you on virtual desktop. I love that I love virtual desktops. It's very familiar, it's very comfortable and it really works. So I do see them continuing to have like a, a stake there. And also I don't know I'll just throw this at you. What do you think about Google, like the Google Suite? Well, I, like I, and I here again, I'm not even talking, and I didn't even mention Google. Sorry, Googlers. Um, but I think before this is all said and done, I think Google's going to have a lot to say about this as well. They are they're being overlooked in a lot of these conversations, but they have they have their share of users, and money talks. Google has as much money as they need to develop as much as they want. I think what this is really going to come down to is how these different applications begin to play with each other and how providers are picking and choosing from a shelf of, of choices to make the best solution for, for their folks. I like Office 365. I love it because I know I love what it can do for the clients. It doesn't supplant uh, some of the advantages that we find in a, like a virtual desktop environment. So until we get all that solved, I think what you're going to see is a leveling off, just like in most, most technologies. It's going to work for a lot of people, but there's still going to be a big subset of folks who are just going to want the cohesion of, of a, a virtual desktop experience.